okay good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today we shall learn to design a freestanding staircase on start pro connect edition day 24 okay so this is what a freestanding staircase looks like you can see this journal a freestanding staircase it has a support here a support here and it's freely those supports at the landing here at this half landing also this is it here so this is a freestanding staircase it has the support here and the support here but at this um mid and um, half landing there's no support there so we shall model this type on start pro okay so first thing we need to do is pick our origin now the width of the staircase is one meter that's the width of the staircase so one meter so first thing we do is go to our start pro and pick our origin okay so i have my origin and i've assumed this point as my origin okay so the next thing i need to do now is to move it by 1.5 meters forward so take your select node cursor. i like this node ctrl c ctrl v x direction one meter that's the width okay yes then after that take this one ctrl c ctrl v X direction 0.2 that's the space between each uh, flight so 0.2 meters okay then take this one another width ctrl c ctrl v x direction one meter okay so i'm done with that next thing i do is click this to right click move it up to this height three meters so y three okay yes so next i'm left to this one now so i need to control c control v now what direction am i moving it to i want to move this the next node to this point so i need to move it by 1.5 in this direction and 1.5 in this direction so let's go so in the z direction minus 1.5 minus 1.5 sorry minus 1.5 and y direction 1.5 so i have this so the next thing i do is create my plates okay so i've done this first flight i've done this next i'm to do this now so i need to create this intermediate landing so this intermediate landing is just offsetting one meter so select your node cursor click this click this ctrl c ctrl v z direction minus one okay then this also controls i'm going to move it in the x direction 1.2 meters 1.2 sorry ctrl ctrl z ctrl z so move only this move so x direction 1.2 okay so i've done that so the next thing i need to do now is create my landing here so take this ctrl c ctrl v x direction 0.2 okay then ctrl c ctrl v x direction one meter okay so next thing you do now you form your plates so I'm form my plates On this then next I found this okay so we are done with our freestanding model so this is it you can view it in different views this is the front view this is this view this is this view like we have there you can look at it from the isometric from the top yes okay so let's go back to our view structure now so you can see I need to place support at this uh, and support at this place then this place will be free so we'll see how to displace okay so next thing we do is assign property so let's try a waist thickness now what i mean by waist this is what i mean by waist from this point to this point let me draw what i mean by waist when i mean waist waist of the slab Thickness, sorry, okay. So, 
So what I mean, if you have a staircase like this land, then you also have this, the risers and the tread. Sorry, I'm not getting it. The riser. Sorry. So you have this. You need risers and you need tread one. Then you continue. So you need risers and tread. So this from this point to this point is the waist. So waist. And this is the tread. This is the riser. So I need to get the thickness for my waist. So I have to use thickness of 200 mm. So thickness 200 mm. 0.2 and please assign to view assign now let's look at where our plate orientation so press shift t now you can see my z is facing up that means it's actually the normal convention okay so after that next thing i do is to mesh it so i light it generate plate mesh so division let me use five 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 and five okay or the lateral mesh okay so it has meshed it so I can turn it off now. So shift T and it will go. So the next thing I do is go to support. So create fixed support. Add so view top view. I like the nodes where you want to place the support. I like okay. Assign to selected nodes. Sorry, I'm supposed to assign this. Then assign to selected nodes. Assign. Okay. So display structure. This is it. The next thing we do is go to loading. So load case details. Add first one is the dead load. Add and the next one is live load. Add close. So under dead load, click add. Then self width paramount one. Then plate load. Let me see minus three. So I can leave it in global y or local z since everything is facing so assign to view assign to view assign to view assign to view so you can see that my load is going downwards okay then the next one the live load and eight load so let's say minus five assign to view assign to view the next thing i do is create my load combination add define load combination first i have the service load bring in this two and then the next one i have the ultimate bring in this two so first one is 1.4 and the next one is 1.6 so add lose okay. analysis define add lose then run analysis So we have zero error zero one and zero notes so we can go to our post processing to see our plate results so i'm only interested in the ultimate load actually so we can check your results there are no beam results and no plate results eh, rather there are no beams so no need for beam results so click okay so currently we are in this load the ultimate load so you can see your reaction select your text cursor see the reaction and add everything together so you know what you're getting okay so after that you go to your plate result now on the plate results what you're interested in is first one you can select the load keys you want to see so i'll see your ultimate now stress type and see the maximum absolute apply okay so you can see it is fully stressed at this close to the supports and also in this part fully stressed there because this is where the support is the next thing you do is check your moment x and moment y so mx apply okay so you can see your mx this is your mx you need reinforcements visually at this point and you need top reinforcement somewhere at this point so let's see our my so you can see it now you can see it in the y direction 
we need to make jolly at this point so that it doesn't fall off okay so which other one are we interested in again let's have a torsional reinforcement like so this is a torsional reinforcement at this point and also at this point so it doesn't twist then you can see whatever you're interested in so you can see your max stop principal absolute this is it you can see your max um, top minor apply you can see it so let me look for the most stressed part so the most stressed part is somewhere around this point so let me just design this plate in mx my so let me design this since this is the worst case scenario so let me design this so new view okay so going back to the modeling design so concrete define parameters let's say clear i want to use 15 mm uh, concrete strength i want to use 35,000. then steel i want to use 500 okay so assign to view assign to view assign to view and assign to view so next we have the command so i want to design it as slab click assign then this take off assign also i want to bring out the quantity of concrete needed so run your analysis run the analysis okay so zero error zero one in zero nodes you can go to the post processing the utilities i'm supposed to go to the outputs but don't worry analysis output file also okay so once i'm done with this so you can see it's concrete representing volume in this so let's go to the concrete design now so you can see for this plate i have my y and i have my x so what is telling me to provide now in my my direction on top because i need it is the hugging moment on top is asking me to provide 12 mm at 100 center to center it's not comf i'm not comf comfortable with this so i'd rather go with 16 mm at 150 center to center or 20 mm at 200 center to center in that direction then in the mx direction on top i will go with 12 mm at 200 center to center or i can rather go with 10 mm at 300 you just get the minimum area of steel required and find the one you want to provide so this is the concrete total volume of concrete and this is all we have okay so you can see our displacement now view displacement let me increase the scale then we can see the animation okay, so results animation deflection apply so this is where it's going to deflect i call it deflecting like this so you need to take care of it also at this point you need to find the moment at this point check your mx and my find the moment at this point Okay, so thank you for watching today's video on Startbook Connect Edition.